and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome to Legion Talk, episode number 126. Now, what we're going to be taking a look at is from mob looting in San Francisco to deaths in Wakusha. The shocking crimes, that's right. It has not gotten better. Things have actually gotten worse, um, and it, it's nonsensical. It's absolutely nonsensical, and this is... It should be a wake-up call. You're absolutely right. An opinion piece by Newt Gingrich. The deadly actions of the last few uh, days should serve as a wake-up call to most Americans. Being pro-criminal and anti-police is beginning to undermine the fabric of our civilization. No shit. We have already seen a dramatic rise in murders and other crimes. Yeah, Chicago's like a huge... Um, now we have a massacre by a convicted criminal who drove a vehicle into a Christmas parade, killing six people and wounding 40 who had gathered to celebrate the birth of Christ and the beginning of the Christmas season, mostly children. The attack in Wakusha, Wisconsin, dazed the country because it was so stunning to see such senseless killing and maiming. It was fri a frightening reminder that we now live in a country where we can all be at risk at any time any place okay so this is um it's doing the fear mongering uh i don't like i don't like fear porn and that's what that is and and mainstream media is really horrendous at fear porn look this is this is a once in a this is a once in a year thing maybe once in a few years thing um i'd say a few years this isn't something that's normal this is an unhinged person who has multiple felonies a laundry list of charges and quite frankly uh is a garbage human being i wouldn't even say they're a human being at nearly the same time 2150 miles um, 150 and nine miles <laughs> mob was breaking into stores and looting them 2,159, I can't talk tonight. Uh, I'm tired, I'm tired, sorry guys. The open vandalism, theft, and destruction resembled scene from the movie Clockwork Orange. It is a pattern of criminal aggression which has been building in San Francisco since the city's communist, pro-criminal, and anti-law enforcement district attorney took office. As of last report, there have been three days of looting in San Francisco, and it has now spread to San Jose, as the looting is more widely reported where there is a real likelihood that it will spread to other cities. Look, quite frankly, California is a socialist lost cause. That's not a joke. They're pushing ever more socialist uh, policies. It's getting really bad. It's disgusting. And quite frankly, if you live there, I am so sorry. There has been continuous rioting and violence in Portland, Oregon, for almost two years with Antifa as the primary activist agent. You know, Antifa, anti-fascism. In New York, there is, no, there is a no-bail rule which allows criminals to walk out of jail faster than the police can fill out the, the arrest reports. The result has been uh, that the police have simply stopped arresting people for many small crimes. The mayor of the town in New York, New Jersey, I'm sorry, across the river from New York City, told me of similar incidents in his community. There is a police kick. Uh, the police would kick would be thieves out of the town rather than arrest them because they know that the local prosecutor will simply release the crooks. Look, you commit the you do you commit the crime, you do the time. That's it. That's the bottom line. I don't give a crap what you think. If you put your hands on somebody else, you steal something, you're going to get charged to the full extent of the law. If you're not, if you're not, then guess what? Your district attorney is not doing what's right for your community. The patterns of the destruction resembles the scenes from Ayn Rand's 1957 novel Atlas Shrugged. Rand believed that the inevitable patterns of uh, of civilization 
was for the weak and the predatory to make life impossible for the productive and entrepreneurial. She imagined the most incompetent, incompetent, energetic, and productive people would withdraw from society and civilization would subsequently collapse. Of course, she's not wrong. Many of our recent developments resemble Rand's nightmare. Consider, all, uh, consider the collapse of the rule of law, chaos at the border, and the proposal in New York City to let 880,000 880, non-citizens vote in local elections. The list goes on. The tragedy of the breakdown of civilization is... We know we have to uh, we we uh, how to have law-abiding, safe communities, and have had uh, historic experience in our lifetime. As I wrote my new book, Beyond Biden, George uh, Keeling uh, and James Q. Wilson wrote their groundbreaking broken windows theory in 1982. They found that if you stop small crimes and disorders and repair damaged property, you create a positive environment, which makes crime decline dramatically. I'm not going to go any farther than this. There is more to the article. Not a whole lot more, but guess what? If you engage in positive policing in the community, you work with the community, you send more police into into lawless ridden communities and communities of, yes, mostly minorities, including black people, the outcome is better. This nonsense that oh you know we, we need to we need to re, you know release more you know black criminals from prison because it's um it's out of balance. Well, you have thirteen percent of the population committing seventy percent of the crimes. What do you want? What do you want the world to do? What do you want the United States to do? Do you want to release said criminals back into their uh, environment to? torture kill and terrorize other black americans because i have a feeling the law-abiding americans in those communities would say differently i hope you enjoyed this video uh if you support defund the police and you know um releasing criminals back into the wild um you're an idiot and quite frankly you're gonna you're gonna get reap what you sow because you're staying in these cities and quite frankly if you move from said city you're a racist and you're a piece of shit because you caused it and then you ran from it fuck you